All right. <clears throat> Good day, everyone. Uh, well, just to show a little update on the little project that I was working on, I actually got it uh, to work. Found some coding off internet to um, how to multiplex LEDs using just an Arduino Uno board, which is right here. And as you can see, there's no extra chip. Of course, right now I'm not driving the LED at the full 20 milliamps um, current. Got transistor here for the uh, ground. And in the final project, I will add some uh, transistor to drive the positive so I can actually uh, put more current in those LED. They have a, a peak current of 50 milliamp and a full DC current of 20. So I'm thinking probably going halfway and see how it goes. And uh, yeah, also, um, right, I've... I don't have my uh, rotary encoder yet. I'm still going to have to wait probably a couple of more weeks. But just for the purpose of that, I found myself some little switch that I had laying, laying around. So I'll have to do the uh, encoder myself. But just to show that everything works the way that I want it right now. Right now it's showing red. I'm not sure if we really see it well on the camera. But if I put something like that, you see it's red. And the rest of the LED are not on, but as I encode, now I'm actually doing the sequence of a uh, of the rotary encoder, which is quite simple. It's binary, uh, it's two bit binary uh, gray code. And uh, as you can see, only one LED change the color. Then if I press the button to change mode, now we can see it's a green and the red stays the same, which is what I intended to do. Now you can do some color mixing. Let's add some red green in here. And if I do, now we can add the green. Now I'm not quite sure, but I think the camera is not really showing the true color. It's kind of a pink, pinkish a little bit. And if I press one more time, now all the four LEDs are actually the same color and if I play with the uh, encoder nothing nothing happened if I change it again nothing happened the only thing is if I play with the rotary now it actually uh, oops it plays with all three color at the same time So I'm quite happy and the original coding of uh, that I found had a little uh, had a little uh, display. <coughs> the original was meant to control <coughs> sorry about that uh, control eight LEDs and uh, common anode, common cathode, no problem. you just have to reverse a couple of things in the programming and I do not. I will not take credit for that sequence uh, because it is not me and also for the multiplexing I did not do I only work with the code around to make it work and the original coding for uh, this is available on uh, TKJ production and he's the one who actually wrote the code originally for that what he did he's um, he modified the, the PWM frequency so it can go faster and then he do he did some direct port manipulation to switch from one to four well in his case was from one to eight and the only thing I did is remove some coding and re-enable my uh, if we move on the Arduino I use pin uh, digital pin two three and four for the rotary encoder and digital pin two and three are the uh, special pin that can be attached to an interrupt so whatever I'm doing the encoder as soon as I will rotate it rotate it sorry uh, it will actually stop doing whatever it does and directly uh, add some value and right now the only thing that I did is add the timing between each uh, cycle of the hue fade whatever it, it's nice and I'll add some more function, maybe sets of flashing LEDs, uh, 
whatever different colors and stuff like that and the final project will be running with this little baby here which is a Arduino mini something like that and uh, yeah that's that should be a good product uh, pro uh, project and well the only thing I'm waiting so far it's the last thing which is the rotary encoder and uh, from there well I'll just have to content myself with playing with the board till it arrive and we'll see how it works till then all right have a good day